How's it going everybody? So I know it's been a long time. I'm sorry. Things happen. Life happens. Anyway, to make up for it, I've brought you 2122 Upper Deck the Cup. The reason this is going up so late, I had a chance at two boxes, but it required somebody else to bow out on one of them. Waited as long as I could. But uh, yeah, I just got the one right now. I might get a second later. But 21 22 the cup. If you've seen any of my videos so far, you know the big chase for me is going to be the Cider, the Raymond, even the Valeno. Uh, but of course, the bigger chase items for everybody else, you're looking for like Cole Caulfield. There's a Wayne, there are Wayne Gretzky's, there's a Wayne Gretzky and Mario Lemieux, there's a uh, Gordy Howe, so you're looking for some really high-end stuff here. The cup is top tier for Upper Deck and what they get, uh, what they put out every year. This is the last product they're putting out that is being marketed as the 2122 in the, uh, on the box. Yes, there's clear cut that's 20, uh, 2223 that has the 2122, but this is the last one with the 2122 being the year that's on the box. So let's get started. High risk, high reward. Uh, there's only, uh, I think it's six cards. It's not saying on here. Well, I mean, you'll see it, but it's only like six cards, one pack. It's not even a pack. It's like you open this box, and then there's a tin, and then there's a box inside the tin. <laughs> I'll show you each way, each uh, piece along the way. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the type of setup where I could sh just show you me opening it, but I'll show you along the way. So, obviously start with doing that. Hopefully I don't have to do it too hard, because I, I really... Don't want to go nuts on the box, but oh well. I guess I'm gonna to have to. All right, off screen for a second. <laughs> so, we're open the box, and you got a tin. Throw the box gonna keep that tin though that is that is beautiful yeah looks like the box it looks like the the box it came in but still beautiful tin open the tin up on the inside yet another box <laughs> always thought that was a little a little weird but hey you're gonna pay for quality then they're gonna give you quality uh, well you know that's the hope anyway right Okay, so tiny box. Uh, half this video is just going to be me opening boxes. Isn't this really exciting? Okay, now the thing is, is there's not a pack in here. What there is, is there's styrofoam or you know similar material and then there's the cards in the middle there is a very specific way to do this to keep fingerprints off of the cards while also not uh, bending them or anything like that unfortunately like I said I don't have the setup for uh, letting you see me do that so probably just gonna introduce a cut right here but Okay, don't reveal anything, but there you see that come across. Got my trusty filler from the SPX box. Gonna put that in front. So, oh, well, that one problem. Oh, I don't see any really thick cards, so that's that's a pain. That's a that's a distressor right there. You gotta understand this little box costs. About a thousand dollars. So it's the most expensive thing I've opened 
uh, last season's 2021 was uh, started out at about fourteen hundred dollars. This one started out at about a uh, thousand to eleven hundred. So let's see it first. Base card Nico Heischer to two forty nine. Just a regular old base card. Yeah. So let's see what's next. Uh, and actually, instead of doing it that way, I'm just going to pick them up from the bottom because I feel like I'm getting too much, to, you know, getting my hands in there a little too much to, and it's going to mess up the card. Anyway, here we go. Second card. What do we got here? Ooh, an auto patch. A Minnesota guy, y'all probably already know who it is, and I'm sitting here. Who? Brandon Duhame. So that's the that's the rookie patch auto for this box. Brandon Duhame. That's not a that's not a bad patch by any means. It's a little. Uh, feel. I don't understand this. It feels like something else up here. But anyway. Brandon Duhame out of 249. So you get a, it's, it's my understanding you get a rookie patch auto per box. So I mean, that's that's a good thing. You pay $1,000 for something, you kind of want something out of it. Of course, would have been better if it was Cole Caulfield, but you know, you get what you want, or you get what you, you do. So third card. Got a, another auto patch. Another rookie auto patch. And it looks like it's a variation of some sort. Spencer Knight. There's a Spencer Knight RPA to 12? Yes, to 12. There you go. Uh, four of 12. So that's a that's a huge one. I mean, he's he's still working his way into florida and everything but that's a that's a pretty huge one right there out of 12 spencer knight rookie auto patch excellent all right not the most horrible patch in the world either so i mean doing pretty decent on the patches okay let's go to the fourth card here see what we got oh sideways All right, uh, somebody from New York, maybe Laffy. I don't know. Uh, no, Adam Fox. Adam Fox Brilliance. We got the uh, gold ink there. All right, beautiful card. I guess I should have showed you all the back on the other cards as well. There you go. All right, so not bad. Three cards, three, or four cards, three autos. Let's see if we can keep this up. You know, not the biggest names in the in the product, but it's fine. It's fine. All right, fifth card. Trios. All right, trio jerseys. Who we got? Okay, Lecision. Uh. Dorofayev, that's that's not Dorofayev though, and Logan Thompson. I mean, I'm not crazy, am I? Pavel Dorofayev is not the goalie, is he? I thought Dorofayev was the. Uh, I thought that was uh, uh, one of their Fords. But that's thirty of thirty-five. Triple patch. Vegas Knights. All right. I'll have to look that up because that just that doesn't sound right. Because I, I could swear clear cut I, I sold a clear cut uh, rookie auto of Dorofayev, or maybe I'm thinking a different guy. All right, so not bad. Triple, I mean triple jerseys. You know, that's pretty good. Not the necessarily the names, but it's fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, here we go. Last card, number six. Whew. If this one isn't a big card, I, I really, really hope I get that second box. All right, what we got? I don't know faces very well. That is Vancouver of some sort. And it says rookie something another. It's hard to see. Ross Colton. You can see that there is a place to have a signature and there's not one. What does that say? Rookie class of 2022. So just a, a regular base rookie, Ross Colton. All right. Well, I mean, I was hoping we'd come up with, you know, some uh, one on one shield of Caulfield so that I could pay off a bill, but, you know, hey, <laughs> we'll go with what we got. Once again, we've got the trio jerseys Lecision, Dorofayev, and Thompson, which I'm still, I'm going to have to look that up and I'm going to post it, do it in post to uh, say whether that is an error or not. And it was to 35, 30 of 35. The Adam Fox Brilliance. Beautiful card, not numbered. Then the Spencer Knight Gold Auto Patch, Rookie Auto Patch, four of 12. The Brandon Duhame RPA, 240 uh, of 249 it's 36 of 249 get the back there while I'm thinking about it and get the back for both of these while I'm thinking about it okay and then the two base cards to 249 of Nico Heischer and Ross Colton all right so <laughs> good bet that you that we know <laughs> good bet that that did not uh repay itself <laughs> but that's that's what you get with the cup you know high risk high reward and sometimes instead of that high reward you just get the high risk coming back to bite you but anyway going to try to put up another one of these but it's going to take time i've got to see if the other one's going to get bought or not well thanks for showing up and joining me while i open some cup for the first time this is my first box of the cup ever was really excited about it because of cider and raymond of course but them's the breaks and outro if you are in the birmingham area at any time and you want to learn to play hockey then we've got learn to skate learn to play uh, we've got the development league bronze silver gold coming back here soon uh, if you don't want to play hockey you want to do figure skating we've got that as well if you're a kid instead of an adult look at that we've got youth leagues and youth skate uh, ice skating as well so uh, say you're somebody though that comes into the Birmingham area just for a brief period of time and you can play hockey we have pickup games we have the ability to drop in on development league games if you want to or really drop in on whatever league games uh, somebody will take you probably uh, it's usually around 25 ish dollars for drop-in fee but yeah come join us uh, thanks for watching